Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, uh, colleagues. Um, uh, it's my pleasure to welcome uh, Dr. Omar Ikram uh, from Sydney, Australia. Um, Omar, welcome to this interview. And it's uh, very nice uh, of you that you have time for me. Thanks a lot, Stefan. Very nice to be here. Okay, um, you are from Sydney. Yes, I, I live in Sydney, but I'm actually not originally from Australia. I'm in fact originally from New Zealand, where I was born. Oh, New uh, Zealand? Yes, I lived in New Zealand for many years. In fact, I was born there and, and did my high school there and my undergraduate degree at uh, Otago University. Okay. And, and, then I, and then I moved to the UK after I worked one year in uh, New Zealand as a general practitioner. Okay, oh, very interesting. So, but um, um, as far as I know, you studied in London, King's College, is it right? Yeah, that's right. So I went to the UK, working as I worked as a general practitioner for around six and a half years, doing the National Health Service uh, work and everything, and a bit of private. And then I did specialist training at King's College, and the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh's MRD exam. And that was the sort of exit exam for specialist training over there. So then I did that, and then I realized that when I finished, that it was time to move on to somewhere else, and I moved okay. to Sydney, Australia. Okay, cool. Um, well, um, and you drive um, an endodontic practice in Sydney, your own endodontic practice? Yeah, I, I have a um, business called Specialist Endo Crow's Nest. And they, uh, well, that, that business works out of a specialist practice in Sydney in, in Crow's Nest, which is actually a, an area. Some of the European endodontists asked me, why is, it, why is it called Crow's Nest? Well, that's the name of the area in uh, Sydney. It's actually an area called Crow's Nest. And uh, that's why it's called that. It's not, it's not a little blog name or something I made up. But um, it's a very uh, nice little family orientated North Shore kind of suburb of Sydney. And there are not many, in fact, there's no endodontists there apart from me. Uh, near, okay. near the, nearby, there's a few endodontists, but it's, it's, it's the only endodontist in that area. Okay, so very interesting. So that the, yeah. uh, you are um, alone there and um, there is no, um, no competitor, um, no, no competition from, from other endodontists. Not, not in that area, but there are quite a few in the suburb north of, uh, north of me. Okay. Uh, but, but this is like a miniature city, that suburb, so it's very busy and things as well. So Crow's Nest is kind of like a, a bit more relaxed, a bit more family orientated, and it's also got the um, eastern part of the North Shore, which is Mossman and places like that, which haven't got any endodontists. And the Northern Beach has also just recently had a, an endodontist move up there in okay. the last few years, but they never, they had never had an endodontist prior to uh, about three years ago. Okay, that's very interesting. So, but you are going to lecture uh, with a special topic um, about, yes, about what? Tell us. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's, an interesting, it's an interesting course that Drew and myself came up with. Uh, it's, a, it's a pro taper next training course with a, mm -hmm. with a twist. Mm -hmm. And the... the It started out by Drew saying, look, we should have a course which is very different and we're going to get some dentists in, they're going to do the training course and then they're going to drive some sports cars in the afternoon. How does that sound? Mm -hmm. And I sound, said, that sounds quite fun, but uh, as time's gone on, we realized that we needed to modify the course in some way to make it different to all those other courses out there where you just come and do the hands-on course and everyone goes home. Uh, so we decided to... I decided to make the first half of my lecture into something that was controlled by the audience. Mm -hmm. And the second half of the lecture is going to be the pro taper next training lecture because that's what the hands-on training course is about. But the first half of the course uh, is going to be under the control of the people attending. So I set up a chat room and we had okay. the people who, okay. who are attending the course added to the chat room and they've been able to do some homework every night, uh, talk about what they want to hear about and control the first half of the lecture. So essentially it's going to be a sort of uh, how do I get myself out of trouble lecture using different products that might be available and then the second half of the lecture is going to be the pro taper next system and how, how to use it and demonstrations and things like that and then they're going to do two hours of training with the pro taper next system and pro glider 
and then uh, we're going to have lunch and then drive some cars. <laughs> drive some cars, okay. What, what, what brand? <laughs> what was the it? The Mercedes cars. Oh, Mercedes, Mercedes cars. Okay. AMG cars, apparently. AMG, oh, oh, very fast AMG, ones. AMG, yeah. Uh, they are um, modified motors, uh, is, is it right? Yes, I think so. I, I'm not a big car fan, but I'm sure I will be after the course. <laughs> yes, me either. I, I, I'm not um, a very, I'm not a car fan, but for me, a car has um, uh, one one um, reason. It must bring you from point A to point B. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in my in my case, it involves taking a couple of children to shopping and yes. supermarkets and things like that. And you know, I, I, so my car is just very much, as you said, an A to B car. Yes, yes, yes. So um, we have uh, something else. We have a van uh, because we also have two children and um, um, they have friends. And so when we drive um, to any place and they want some friends uh, with them, so we have enough space. But yeah. um, to come back to, to the Portaper next, um, I didn't um, try it uh, till now, um, the Portaper next, but um, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a great fan of the Protaper um, system and I yeah. used it for years now. Profile and Protaper is still um, in, my, in my pocket. And yep. I use them for my daily use. So what, what um, is different to, to the Protaper? This is a very interesting question because there's probably more differences between ProTaper Universal and ProTaper Next. So ProTaper Universal is the one that you talked about, ProTaper, yes. the original the original one. Uh, ProTaper Next is the new uh, system that was released about three years ago. Um, there are quite a lot of differences, probably more differences than similarities. Uh, one of the ma major differences is the number of files that you need to use is a lot less. Yeah. With the Taper next uh, because it's got a, a wide end of envelope of motion. So mm -hmm. the the first file, which is the first Protaper next file after you've got a glide path, is called X1 and it's a seventeen zero four apical taper and then variable taper file, and it, and it has this swaggering effect or um, wide envelope of motion, which then makes the taper preparation bigger than the size oh, of the file. Yes. It allows you to move up to 2506, mm -hmm. which is the next, which is X2. So this is a huge development on uh, Protape Universal where you had to use about four files to get to that uh, that size around yes. that. The F2 is 2508, but um, 2506. So they've lowered yeah. the deep shape. That's mm -hmm. another thing they've done. They've lowered the deep shape of the file um, to conserve more tooth structure apically in the middle part of the canal. Okay. Uh, It's made out of M wire, which is the um, Martin, more Martin site involved in the alloy, so it tracks the canal better. It's less resistant to cyclic fatigue, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, what else? It's got a offset center of rotation, which means that it has the debris accumulating on one side of the file whilst um, the other side of the file is touching the canal wall and things like that. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's got these, like, it's probably got more different things than similarities. Uh, the, the concept is the same, but the actual instrument is totally different. Mm -hmm. So um, in, in my in my experience, um, with the envelope of motion, I had these uh, um, Niti Flex files, you know, and I yep. pushed them and made them around and to to make to to get this envelope of motion, and it was a lot of work. And I think um, if Protape Next um, makes this um, very easy to to achieve. Um, this is a thing, but um, I try. I, I will try in the next time. <laughs> yeah, pro, and pro I will. I, I will watch. Good. I will watch your. I will watch your lecture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, watch the lecture and um, and the idea of the lecture as well as to introduce some advanced concepts, because would you believe it or not, there are about three dentists who are coming from Australia to my course yes. in Surrey, England. Um, and one of them I know has been on my course already, so I had to change it, at least for her to get uh, to get more enjoyment out of the course. I had to change the course a bit because otherwise it's the same course just in the, in a different country. Okay. So I've introduced to quite a lot of advanced topics just to make things a bit more exciting. And then even with the Pro Taper Next system, I've uh, chosen a few advanced concepts, like for example, 
uh, how the swaggering effect can be used to your mm -hmm. advantage and, mm -hmm. and just sort of these subtle things that I picked up by using yeah. myself. Not, not the stock standard stuff that you'd just hear from a, um, yeah. a dental rep. A little okay. bit more than that. Okay. When will uh, this uh, course will start? The, co the course is scheduled for the um, 11th of September, Friday. Okay. And it's going to be on at 9, 9 a.m. Uh, UK time. UK so that time. would be... 10 a.m. I guess in Europe, and um, it's going to be on Dental Tubules streamed live with uh, with the Drew and the team. Oh, okay, okay, and um, but you said it's a hands-on course, and is is there any um, um, possibility any possibility to to come there um, in, in 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 short? Yes, uh, we have got one space remaining actually for dentists. Okay. Uh, maybe two. No, I think we have one space left. Uh, it sold out quite quickly, but we had this last space left, and it's been like that for a little while. But uh, so, if yeah, if there's anyone who's interested in coming, then certainly come along and 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 join in because you get to do the driving of the cars as well, which is fun. You know, we've got a few. People, we've got a few a mix of people. Some people who who really want to learn pro taper next and are not so big fans of cars. Yes. Uh, and then the other group who who don't even do endo, but they like the cars. Okay. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few implant. There's a few implant dentists coming along. I know. Okay. But, um, they so just like the idea of the cars mainly, but okay. you know, hopefully they'll get get some info, and maybe they yeah. won't place as many implants after they've tried mm -hmm. Protaper next. Okay. So if 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 somebody uh, wants uh, to join, um, um, what uh, who who can he he or she contact for for. Um, taking this this one lost place so there's a couple of ways you can do it um, I'm on uh, Facebook obviously uh, specialist endo crow's nest yeah and uh, so you can contact me via or Drew Shah okay and him, him he's the organizer so he's probably the best person to contact but I can uh, send the link if they want to but okay Drew's got the uh, information on who's coming or who may not be coming and things like that. Yeah, cool. Uh, so um, if you can send me the link, I, I will put it uh, um, below the yes. video um, later. Uh, yep, cool. definitely. That's very, very nice. So Dental Tubules is the host uh, of this um, of this event. Drew Shaw makes it and uh, he makes a lot of videos and a lot of events, mm -hmm. live events. And um, I hope... Uh, This will be a very nice time for you. Um, but um, to be to be honest, um, uh, I'm 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 very curious how how the Mercedes cars uh, uh, are. Y y you have to tell me <laughs> what what they are <laughs> and how they I'm, are. I'm very interested as well. Um, it's it's going to be a, an interesting thing uh, going from a 2.4 liter engine up to a 6.3 liter engine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, it's 9 a.m. on the 11th of uh, September, um, yep. UK time. Um, yes. Thank you, Oma Ikram, for uh, this interview. And I hope um, you will have a very good time there. Not only with Mercedes, but also with um, the attendees. And um, I think, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And I think there is one. Um, last space there and I think it's worth uh, the time to attend and uh, I will place the link below the video uh, where you can uh, see uh, how to contact Drew or Omar Ikram for it. Thank you Omar and Thanks a um, lot, Stefan. I wish you all my best and uh, to Very Sydney <laughs> to this lovely place. I never have been there but I plan to be there maybe in two or three years Let's see. Yes, my definitely come and visit. Yes, very nice place to be. But New Zealand also is a very nice place to be. Um, yes, but yes. There's there's so much uh, places in the world um, why not have been. But Sydney is one of my top top uh, uh, top tens. <laughs> yeah, Sydney is a great destination to come, especially uh, during the early part of the spring and the autumn time. Okay, thank you, Omar. And good night. Thanks a lot. See you then.